What's up, people? Happy Tuesday. Um, I missed a lot of this episode because of the Boston Marathon, the Boston Marathon bombings. Um, it interrupted the show for the most part of it. So I, I'm just going to talk about what I did see so far. Um, Tracy. Open your fucking eyes, woman. I don't get her. Like, how come she can't see through Luke? If anybody could, it would be Tracy. Like, are you that? I'm, I don't want to say it, but I think I might have to say it. Is she that dick whipped? I'm just saying like that. She can't see Luke is not Luke. First of all, why the hell after all these years would Luke all of a sudden want to work at ELQ? He never had any interest in EOQ. Ever. So why would he want to work there? That's so dumb. Like Luke... He never wanted to work at ELQ. Why would he want to work there now all of a sudden? Luke is not the corporate type. And I don't get how Tracy can't see that. I am glad that Ned is back. Um, because unlike Tracy, Ned actually opened his eyes. And he knows something is fishy with Luke. He knows it. Because, first of all, he wouldn't really care if Tracy and Luke were getting remarried. Normally, Ned wouldn't give a fuck. But when she told Ned that he was he wanted to work at ELQ, hello, ding, ding, ding. That's what clicked in Ned's head. Why all of a sudden would he want to work at ELQ? That don't make no sense. Luke at ELQ? It makes absolutely no sense. And I'm glad Ned called it. And he said he wanted Luke... Before Luke got married, he'd be fine with Luke and Tracy getting married again. Luke better sign a prenup. And Tracy looked at him like, Tracy, come on now. You Tracy is the biggest one always saying that people are after the quarter main money. But you don't believe Luke is after the quarter main money? Make him sign a prenup. I'm glad Ned is here to put Luke in his place. Fake Luke. Um, so anyway, let's get down to some other business. The piece of trash, which is known as Sonny Corinthos. He basically AJ is haunting him now. And Sonny. He's scared. Trust me, Sonny's nervous because Sonny's all smiles thinking that he's going to get away with this. No, you're not. No, you're not. And I'm glad AJ haunted him. And now Duke showed up. I am getting so sick of Duke kissing Sonny's ass. You might as well glue your lips to his. You might as well glue your lips to his ass cheek because that's exactly what you're doing. Some major ass kissing. Just do it. Seriously. His main excuse is, oh, I want to take Julian down. Shut up, Duke. I don't get these mob bosses. If fake Luke and Julian want to take Sonny out, why is it taking so long? Why don't you just kill him and get it over with like old school mob bosses do? I mean, look at John Gotti. He killed mob bosses and he never got convicted of it. Not until later um, for other crimes. Um, Duke is a piece of shit, too. Like AJ was so good to him. He gave you a job when nobody else would, and you know Sonny murdered him, and you say nothing? That shows how much of a bitch you are. Like, seriously, how disloyal you truly are. Your first loyalty should have been AJ, the guy who stuck by you and employed you with a legitimate corporate job. And you stab him in the back by knowing Sonny what Sonny did, and you say nothing? You're a piece of shit. And I, and I hope... That when Michael finds out the truth, I hope he disowns him. Speaking of Michael, I am getting so sick and tired of Carlos. Like, either do something with him. I say this a billion times a day. Either do something with the character or X them out of the show. Now. Oh, let me tell you all something. 
Um, do any of you remember the actor Robert Scott Wilson, who played uh, Pete Cortland on the reboot of All My Children? Guess what? He's going to Days of Our Lives. General Hospital are fucking idiots. You want to bring in all these newbies, but they're bringing in actors that can't act. Why not snag somebody like Robert Scott Wilson? He's a good actor. Why not get him? Idiots. I swear. Just dumb. Y'all letting all this good talent go to waste. I mean, not to say GH don't have talented actors and actresses, but some of these people that they bring in are just not all that talented. I just have to call it like I see it. Speaking of disloyal people, Ava and Julian. Lord, talk about dysfunction. You want to talk about disloyal. Both of them are disloyal, in my opinion. Julian was disloyal to her. Ava was disloyal to him. I mean, come on, you're selling secrets to Sonny. Also, you can get in Morgan's good graces by betraying your brother. Not to say that Julian is perfect, seeing how he betrayed Ava for Sam, a daughter who only uses him when it's convenient for her. And you know I'm right, because she does. That's what Sam does. Um, anybody who says she don't, you're lying because she does. Um, I seen the episodes. She do use him for her own personal gain. And then when she don't need him, she's back to acting like a little bratty bitch. That's how it is. Um, it's going to come to a head because I heard a rumor. Here we go with the rumors that Sonny is going to go into a coma. And Ava is going to take charge of the Corinthos organization and she's going to use the Corinthos organization to take Julian's organization down. So I hope that's true because I think that'd be brilliant. I like Ava. I think that it's time for her to pay for her crime. Sure. But I like her because she brings good drama to the show. She definitely is. My problem with Ava is she's a part of like half the storylines on the show. She's connected to so many storylines. It's ridiculous, though. It's like they're painting her into a corner. They're, that's what they're doing. They're backing her into one. Um, so anyway, what was I about to say? Um, so yeah, this is good rivalry right here between Ava and Julian. Um, because you know Ava, she always wanted to be the boss and she thought that she was a co-owner in the Jerome organization. But when Julian told her she was an equal partner, she wasn't really an equal partner. She just an equal partner in name only. That's all she really was, was an equal partner in name only. That's it. Um, Sean, I'm sick of Sean. All he keep doing is judging Jordan and it's annoying. Like, okay, yeah, she has a past. So what? Everybody has a past. And he always want to call out her shady shit, but yet she called out all his shady shit. What about him working for the Vulcan? Him doing some business for Sonny? I mean, come on now. You're, you know, getting her son mixed up in mob wars. And you say she's shady. Don't judge. Um... Do I think Jordan has a shady pet? Hell yes. I'd be, a, I'd be lying if I say I didn't. And I like it. I like Jordan. I think she's a beautiful woman. It's good to have some diversity on this show. And it's good, you know, just to see a new character on this show that can actually act. And, you know, actually look like she could be really a part of this show for a while. And I think she can be if they write her right. Um, Anna and Dante, they brought in the guy who apparently sold Carlos the gun. So now Carlos, I guess he's worried that um, Ava's going to flip on him and use him as a scapegoat. And Ava's pretty much worried that Carlos is going to turn her in for the botch hit on AJ the first time. I like the way Dante and, and Anna handled that interrogation. That's the first interrogation. I actually like the way Dante handled it, where they pretty much, you know, the guy thought that he had the upper hand because he might get bail. And I like the way Anna played it when she told him that the judge for his uh bail hearing or whatever, 
she's, you know, not lenient on the new gun charges, you know, the new gun policies and stuff like that. So she might be a little tougher on them. And I like the way that they made them crack. That's good police work. Finally, they're letting these these they're letting the PCPD do some real police work because I did love the way they handled that interrogation. I, I enjoyed it. Um, What the fuck else happened on this? I think that's everything. Far as I saw, it wasn't really all that interesting today. Not really, for the most part. Um, But certain storylines on the show is getting my attention. Certain storylines are not getting my attention, but I like the pace for today's episode so far. Um, if I'm forgetting something, just let me know. Cause like I said, I didn't see the whole episode because of the interruption or whatever. So I just had to give you a little, you know, footnote of what happened for those who didn't see the episode yet. Um, but I hope all you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.